Do you see the damage? Okay, wait. <laughs> Yo, I expected that to be a little bit longer. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I just made a cannon build, right? Now we have a Celestial Cannon build. And the whole point is to spam Celestial Cannon. In my case, I do not want to use my weapon. That's, that's my goal. I don't want to use my weapon. I want to just fight stuff without using that. It's not good versus volatiles, and I would not suggest versus DP volatiles. I wouldn't do it myself, and that's how I got paid. Just saying. The weapon looks like this. You got Blade to bar 25%, Time Changer 30%, Manifestation Release. We ain't using that. We got Blade to bar again, Fusion Reaper Reutilization. I'd say it's so slow because I just I speak weird, I guess. Times two. And this is what the pathing looks like. I think going like this. I mean, on every single node is weird, so just you can pause the video whenever you want and do like that. Scroll down a little bit more. We have this angle and then the final bit. Hopefully that's easy to follow. Now for the gear, Fusion Art Fury, 12%. Chest piece, strong arm thread. When you pull the green thing out of the monster, you get more thread. It's big for this build. Usually not that great though, IMO. Strong arm thread from a gloves. Again, thread file. Thread file sucks. Don't worry about that, but I guess it's something. And pants, Fusion Art Fury, more damage for our cannon. And then the feet are reutilization, 25%. I don't believe there's any feet that give me things that actually useful. I've checked a couple times. Now for my talismans, we got Blade to Bar, 5%, 5%, 6%, 6%, and Art Fury, 4% times 2. I wish I had more of these, if not a 6%, but I don't think it exists. To make the cannon, you're going to need the Torch and the... Celestial Anchor. I do suggest at least taking the stakes as well, because with this, you can make a stake in the monster, like a whatever that thing is, it pierces it, and it makes it take more damage. It reduces it defenses, its defenses. That's huge. Makes your cannon do more damage, you're chilling, and you're cooking with Crisco. So I'll show you how I play around that in a minute. Now, aside from that, make sure when you go into a hunt, or you're in the hunt, you get full thread, and you also want to make these celestial thread places on the maps you're fighting you can you can like try and take it right now but after i queue for a fight guess what it goes away now the hard part about this build is not missing so we're fighting a king tusk for the first time because hopefully we won't miss we'll find out now there's two ways to open this you can use the cannon which is going to be an easy shot considering it's not moving oh my god if the cannon goes underneath it i'm gonna freak out or you can jump on it and place the mark so i'm gonna do that because the cannon can actually break the mark Climbing up, climbing up, climbing up. So that's the stake thing. It best not go beneath you, bro. Oh, that's some damage, son. Did you see the damage? Okay, wait. <laughs> Yo, I expected that to be a little bit longer. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, what? That was mighty, right? Got me questioning things. I demand a Waterburger sponsorship and Wild Hearts. I like a partner program, because I like a game a lot. It's really fun. I'm seeking refuge. If you're farming parts, you're not really gonna get any from breaking things. You'll get stuff from the fast kills, I guess. Choking Harvest Canyon Stagnation. Oh, yes. I concur. Uh, we interrupt this video for Douglas's hunter request things. Oh, tragedy. Built one. That lands for sure. The first one got scuffed, beyond believe. This lands. All day. Somehow it landed. Not quite sure. Oh wait, cannon's best slot. Sir. Destroyed. How that misses, the world may never know. I'm just I'm out here confused, perplexed, and dazed. Oh, we have things we can we can mine right here. You're mad. I'm mad. My same idiot. I dodged. Hmm, the damage is not damaging. I mean, I guess it kind of is. I made him run. 
that's good. And we go back, we get more Celestial Threat. <laughs> hey, to be fair, I don't think it's good on this monster. Like, the cannon is good, but just relying on the cannon for damage, I think is very not the play. Okay, that dragon pit there, get out of here, bro. You can make your own TP, like, waypoints. You can zip line places. Oh my god. Customization. It's clean. Very clean. They got clean indeed. What? Broke my cannon. Oh, reverse freaking Dragon Ball Jutsu. That doesn't miss. You're point blank. I disagree. I've missed two cannons that were absolutely in his mouth. Point blank. I just say. Can't be missing those. Where's his thing? Ah, that, thank you. I think the downside of this fight, I'm not breaking any of its things. Like, I have no marks revealed. And that makes it where I can't get more thread, which is tragic. Rawr. I'm a snag. I'm a snag. Oh, Jeeves, I need more thread. Who dodge those? Oh, God. What you gonna do with that Dragon Ball orb? Send it to the ground, 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 ground. Ooh. That's thread right there. He's doing some crazy... Who's he attacking and why? It's Lance for sure. Never seen it miss. Can we get a, a marker building this, John? I'm hoping that breaks the leg so I can actually reveal the mark. Am I genius? I can't tell. Uh, in this case, I am wasting a kajillion celestial thread, and I don't know if the economy can bear this kind of uh, production right now, but it is what it is. Uh, we have one more. We've established that it's pretty insane versus Mighty King Tusk. Probably good versus Mighty Ice Tusk. I think anything below like a four star, this build's low key strong on. That shoots in time. It's going to rage. That shoots in time. He just dodged my shot. But not that one. I, if I die, I'm going to be very sad. I might kill it. How does he just know these things? Knowledge is impeccable. Honestly, maybe probably like a sub six. I want to say sub five, but that's because I want to be faster than I, I think it is. Hey, man. Just killed the Toyger without using my weapon. Feels good. I don't know what I needed from this, but I definitely needed something. Almost a sub five. Kind of, not really. That misses, it's crazy. It might blow up my cannon. I'm very sad about that. How does that cannon miss? I swear I'm going here. Nicole, please. Go. Don't do anything rash. Sir, I've missed many shots. Huge. 
Being greeted by an owl, as usual. Oh, it... Absolutely monumental. I'm being griefed by an owl. Do we see this? Doctor Who, get your homie out of my lobby. Oh, and he breaks. Oh. These devs said, nah, F that. F that build. Doe's gonna make a dumb build in this game. He likes lanterns and dauntless. Let's go ahead and make the monsters break the nodes he needs to make the build work. We hate Fortnite. We hate Fortnite. If I land this next cannon on its leg, I get a hunter's mark. I know someone spent time doing this. I also don't care. That's interesting. That is... Yep, that definitely hurt. Where's my Celestial Cannon Finisher? Because I did not use my Katana. Man, dude... That would have been so much faster if it, if it just went to the first spawn. The first spawn, I save a minute, it feels like. I might go back and time that because I'm tilted. Oh, it's for sure sub 3. That is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And the plan is to eventually sub 3 the Wolf, one of them at least, and to sub 5 the Tiger, and maybe figure out whatever else the Cannon is fun on. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be sure to make more build bids for other stuff in the future. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.